That's very scary. I mean, I've lived here four and a half years and it's just not something that you think about. No one thinks they look out their window and see their block surrounded by FBI agents. So we had a clear view and all the agents, all the trucks. Um, I actually got a text from a friend. They're like, what in the world is going on in your name? I didn't even know. A day later, we now know. According to court paperwork, FBI agents were here because of an online threat. They tracked the IP address to this home on Greystone Drive. They were originally searching for electronics, but found explosive devices. It's, it's kind of, I'm still in shock, actually, because I would never think anything like that would happen in this neighborhood. So that's actually really bad making bombs, right? Like it makes me think like what what's the purpose of the bombs? Isle of White deputies arrested a 32 year old Paul Longoria. Court documents say he told investigators the explosives found in the garage in his bedroom were his. His dad told us to trust the legal process. Are you surprised by this? Uh, completely, but it's important that we support our Longoria lives in the home with his father, mother, and brother. He's now being held inside the Western Tidewater Regional Jail without bond. FBI officials would not say if he would soon be facing federal charges, but neighbors are glad the explosives are no longer around. It's terrifying, it, even accidentally, if, if a bomb had gone off. You know, what could have happened? So we, we are all quite shaken by it.